Um, obviously there's like the traditional gifts like cologne, jewelry, watches. If I were to recommend a watch, it would probably be this one from Michael Kors. But I try to think of other like little gift ideas you can create yourself that would be unique. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my little holiday gift guide. I know it's kind of tricky to figure out what to get everybody and people have like a different price range in mind. So I try to think of different options that would suit everybody. So let's just get started. Some of these things are going to be more directed towards like girly things, but a lot of them are also unisex. The first little set I could think of would be for the person you know that like loves doing their nails and like at home pedicures and manicures. So the first thing I thought of is the Petty Perfect. It's a battery operated, uh, what's it called? Like foot scrub. So here, you just turn this. And it like buffs out the skin um, on your feet. Then with that, I would probably get some sort of lotion or body butter. I got these two from the body shop in coconut and olive oil. And these are like really moisturizing. With that, I would probably get a few nail polishes. So you can do an at-home pedicure, a nail file, which I got this one at Bath & Body Works, with a pair of fuzzy socks. So I mean, a lot of these items, like the file, the polish, the socks, are really inexpensive. I think the body butter is like $20 and this might be $50. So this would be good for like a sister, for a mom, maybe a girlfriend. The next idea is for the person you know that loves makeup. So the first thing I would say is maybe get a brush set. This one is from my holiday giveaway, which is still open till December 17th. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out that video and enter for a chance to win these brushes along with quite a few other items. And then with the brush set, I would probably get some sort of makeup set. And there's obviously a ton of these on sale right now. This one I got from Tarte, uh, I wanna say like a year or two ago. And let me just show you. I think Tarte has some of the best holiday gift sets, but as you can see here, just have a bunch of eyeshadow and blushes in one kit. And I believe this was $50. Okay, so the next few items are gonna be for people who are like really into fitness or trying to get into fitness, especially with the new year coming around. So one thing I can think of is a Fitbit. And this would be perfect for somebody like trying to walk more or just trying to get more steps in every day, this would definitely be helpful. This right here is 150. Or if they already have a Fitbit, you can buy a new um, band. This one was only like 10, I believe like 10 or $12 on Amazon. So that just gives them a, a like variety to choose throughout the day. Or if they're not interested in the Fitbit, you can buy protein with a like blender bottle cup to go together as a set. Next up, I have kind of like a little skincare set that I created. So if there's somebody you know who's really into skincare, what I would do is get a Clarisonic, some sort of face wash. I know everybody loves Purity, and a face mask. Obviously, it doesn't have to be this one, but I really like this charcoal mask by Origins. Um, I bought my sister a Clarisonic for Christmas probably like two years ago and she uses it every single day so I think it was definitely a good investment. Another really cute set they have around the holidays are perfume sets with mini versions so you can try multiple different scents. So I really liked this one from Victoria's Secret. It has one, two, three, four, five of their scents. Let me hold them all up. And they're just little mini perfumes so you can test each out without like having to buy the whole bottle. I believe this set for all five of these was $50. Next up is kind of like a cozy set, I would say. You can definitely buy somebody a new robe. With that, I would get maybe some slippers. And a really cute idea that I thought of was like a silk pillowcase. I don't have one, but I definitely want one. I know there's like really good benefits for your hair and your skin when you use a silk pillowcase. So I feel like that would be a cute, like at home cozy kind of gift set. The next two little sets I created are more for people who, you know, like to stay in at home and just like relax. So the first thing I thought of was a soft blanket. 
And then with that, you can maybe pick up a couple books you know they want to read or candles. I feel like these are things that a lot of people would enjoy. Or sticking with that trend if there's somebody that you don't want to spend like $200 on and you need to think of something that they would like. Maybe buy a cup or a mug. This one just says bridesmaid because I'm standing up in a wedding. And fill it with candy or fill it with things to make hot cho chocolate with or maybe get popcorn and a couple movies. This one is Tangled because that's the first thing I found. Another gift idea I think people forget a lot but a lot of people enjoy are sunglasses. So these here are mine. They are by Michael Kors and these were a hundred dollars. But I mean again if you're just shopping for like your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, hundred dollars on sunglasses is probably like around what you would want to spend. So I would definitely recommend that idea. Okay the next two things are for people who really like cooking or you know spend a lot of time in the kitchen. The first thing I thought of, I don't have these because I'm actually purchasing them for people this year, but the first is a like spiralizer so that you can turn vegetables into pasta. I know that's a healthier option and that's becoming a lot more common. So here's the one I found online. And then the other thing I thought of for the kitchen, we had one and it broke so I want to replace it. It's, um, what's it called? Like an automatic sensor soap dispenser. So basically instead of having to touch the pump, if your hands are dirty, you just put it under and it actually like pumps the soap out for you. So I know my mom really liked that so I'm going to repurchase that for her. Okay, a few more like random ideas. One is a hat. I actually received this one as a gift and I really really like it and I think that's a super cute idea. The other one could be a purse if you know somebody is in need of a new one. And again, you don't have to spend a ton of money. My sister got me this one as well. I got it as a gift and I love it and I get so many compliments on this one. And just to be like cute and be a little like extra, you can maybe fill it with like lotto tickets or again, some sort of gift card. Another thing, if you really don't know the person and you need to get something little, you can always resort to getting like a Starbucks gift card and some candy. I feel like that's always a good last minute idea and I've definitely used that in the past. And the very final item I could think of, I'm gonna have to take you over there to show you. Okay, so the very last thing I thought of was a makeup organizer. My aunt got me this one from Bath, or sorry, Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you know somebody who has a lot of makeup and wants a nice pretty way to store it, this would be a good gift idea. Alright guys, so that's all for this holiday gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the items I picked out and found it helpful. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to help other people find it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new so you can see my upcoming videos and feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget if you haven't entered the giveaway, you still have till December 17th. So be sure to check out that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you until next time. Bye!